wengine tulikuwa tunatafuta kura hatulali lakini wengine kazi yao ni kupanga vile wataiba kura this are roses bitterness to many people in this country you have spoken so many things here you have raised so many issues here but in my capacity as the chairman of the asimio executive council i want to refocus you refocus you people on four important issues that we have put on the table so that we don't lose that particular focus as members of this movement the first one is cost of living and we unveiled these issues when we unveiled the committee the parliamentary committee that we have selected we should not lose focus on the cost of living and the cost of living we are looking at short term what are the issues that we are looking at cost of food cost of fuel cost of electricity and school fees other issues are long term we cannot deal with the complicated physical and monetary policies that they are those ones we can deal with later because the issue of cost of living is easier to deal with because it is the Kenya Kwanza government that removed subsidies the solution is to return subsidies immediately there will be a major change in cost of living the second issue is the opening of the sawa which we can put together with the ipc reconstitution of the committee that one has been understood very well with those who came here to talk about it that is a very critical issue and what you have seen here as said by my colleague here is treason the people who did this are not even the commissioners they are people who are working in the id I, I, it section it section within the ibc these people are still in employment they are there who are used to steal this election and i feel one of the recommendation is to scrap the entire ibc as it happened before so that from the sweeper up to the chairman they are all sent home so that we have fresh people committed kenyans who are looking for those particular jobs to do them the other issue that we, we are focused on this party discipline buying of leaders buying of members of parliament in the name of going to state house being told that you are you are coming here for development you know very well there is devolution money is going to counties money is going to constituencies in the name of cdf to help in development what other development are you going to state house to get these members of parliament we cannot build democracy in this country sustain it if members of parliament are being bought day and night in the name of development that is an, uh, the third issue the last issue is the exclusion of other communities from civil service employment you have seen what is happening even you the youth because that time wakatuule nyinyi vijana ndio mlikuwa mnasema hasula 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 
Munyambie wakati huu how many youth are, have been employed in the, all these people have been employed from the CSS from the PSS and from the CASS and even those who have been appointed as members of the boards chairman of the boards tell me how many hustlers are there that is an issue because this country belongs to all of us and we must be included because all of us pay taxes so we must be included in that those are the four critical issues that we are focusing on but other issues might arise and we shall look at them as they arise the other day in Kimaliza I met one of them and he was telling me he was asking me how is the financier how is your financier I said who is this financier at Uhuru Kenyatta Nikasema when we go for this mass action do we pay the people who come there do we transport people who come there do we transport them it is only the, the address system you mean these people cannot afford an address system do we finance those ladies who pour water on us when there is jackass who use that water to wipe our eyes do we pay them so which finances is here and if Uru can finance Raila Modotika this time, how come when Raila was demonstrating against him, who was financing Raila Modotika? And this is not the first time Raila is, is leading such a movement. It has happened before. But you Kenyans, as we live here, remember, we have had election disputes from 2020. 2007-2008 we lost so many lives 2013 2017 and now we are on 2022 we must have a lasting solution for this problem if we have to have stability and economic growth in this country we must have that but the Amwisho I'm surprised when Ruto says that we can't borrow for current expenditure when people are going without salaries and salaries is a major expenditure within the economy that's how you grow the economy by putting more money in the economy through the people and the salary is the only equitable way of putting money in the economy and that's why 2009, 2007, 2008, when we had problems here in Kenya, we had to come up with economic stimulus so that we pour more money in the economy to grow the economy so that people can get employment. Ascendant, son.